If you have ever rigged a model, added shape keys, or used a deform modifier, you've probably seen textures slide and round or break in entirely. That's because Blender default object and generated coordinates are built to follow surface deformation. But you don't have to suffer from this problem indefinitely, because we have Sanctus procedural mapping, which fixes this by providing a node-based solution that locks procedural textures to the mesh, even during animation, morphs, or geometry node operations. The issue with object and generated coordinates is that they are tied to the original shape of the mesh, not its deformed state. So when the object bends or stretches, the texture mapping doesn't update to match the new form. Sanctus procedural mapping, on the other hand, can solve this by basing the texture projection on the rest position of the object. The result is that procedural textures stick to the object visually, regardless of what kind of deformation is happening. Once you install the add-on, a new section appears in the shader editor. If you already have the Sanctus library installed, the node gets added to the panel. You activate the rest position with a single click, then drop in the procedural mapping node. From there, it works like a direct replacement for any node that uses object or generated coordinates. You can plug it into the vector inputs the same way, but now the mapping stays stable, no matter how the object animates or deforms.